In a recent study, 30 grams a day of this unusual detoxifier were prescribed to patients in stage 5 of kidney disease to avoid kidney dialysis. It worked! Hello, Catherine from Double Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. In a study, Stage 5 kidney disease patients were administered this uncommon detoxifier instead of dialysis. This substance was proven to be so powerful against the toxins associated with kidney disease progression that, after 10 months, all the test subjects had significantly lower creatinine levels, as you can see. This is a study published on a peer-reviewed journal. And what they used is activated charcoal. This is a cheap, easy to find supplement you could buy even right now. And it is probably the only thing in the world that may actually work to improve kidney function in people with chronic kidney disease in the advanced stages, even those on dialysis. And always more researchers think that it works. So if you think this is good news, please share this video with anyone you know who suffers from kidney problems. We really need to focus on the awareness about this new kind of treatment. If more people knew about the studies I'm showing you today, things could be very different for patients on dialysis. This kind of research could literally save millions of people. So share this video now. What I want to focus on today is how you, watching me right now, can benefit from taking activated charcoal as a detox. There are new studies on this and we are going to see exactly what products and what dosages are the best for your kidneys. And this is a powerful substance, as we have seen. So, let's answer the most important question first. Does activated charcoal really work? Short answer, yes, it is a powerful detoxifier according to science. Long answer, we definitely need more research on it. And this is probably not the first time you hear about activated charcoal as a kidney detox. But there is a new study about it I've never talked about here that's really important for us. So if you want to really see something for the first time, what about this? In this scientific paper that was published on a respectable peer-reviewed journal, scientists are actually calling activated charcoal a detoxifier. Now, detox is more of a marketing term than a scientific one and scientists calling activated charcoal a detoxifier makes it way more interesting. So, what are the proven benefits of activated charcoal for people with kidney problems? According to research, the toxin removing properties of activated charcoal have a wide range of medicinal uses. It can significantly lower cholesterol levels, it can lower phosphorus levels, it can lower serum urea levels because it binds to uremic toxins. It may also lower creatinine levels. Now, some people also use it to whiten teeth, to cure hangovers, to protect from side effects of CT scans and MRIs. But the main use of activated charcoal is to treat overdoses on poisonings. Obviously, some of these benefits are really interesting for people with kidney problems. High serum urea levels and creatinine levels are the causes of most symptoms of chronic kidney disease. This is almost like saying that activated charcoal acts like a form of dialysis. And this is what researchers must have thought when studying it. What they found is that Activated charcoal seems to be especially effective at removing toxins derived from urea, also called uremic toxins, the main byproduct of protein digestion. Uremia, excess of uremic toxins, is the cause of most symptoms associated with stage 4 and 5 of kidney disease, including itching or uremic pruritus, but also swelling, trouble breathing, and nausea. It's basically the worst enemy of people with kidney disease. 
The reason why activated charcoal works as a detoxifier and removes the same scores that human kidney removes is due to the activation process it undergoes. The manufacture of activated charcoal makes it extremely absorbent, allowing it to bind to toxins and scores in the gut. This process basically makes more holes in each molecule of charcoal, increasing its overall surface area. As a result, one teaspoon full of activated charcoal has more surface area than a football field. Once ingested, it acts like a powerful scrub for your body and kidneys. This is why it's often used in emergency rooms to treat overdoses and poisoning. Activated charcoal is commercially available in different forms including powder, pills, tablets. More about this in the next part of the video. Now, as I was saying, activated charcoal has also been used as an alternative to dialysis. There is a study conducted on 9 stage 5 patients who were treated with activated charcoal, AC in short, instead of dialysis. They were treated with AC and a diet called VLPD. Now, the VLPD diet was a big component in this study because it's known to greatly slow down and, in some cases, even stop the progression of kidney disease stage 4. I've talked about it here. However, the results of this study on activated charcoal were incredibly positive way more than what the VLPD alone could have achieved because it was done on patients in stage 5 of kidney disease. There's a big difference since people in stage 5 could die if they don't receive dialysis, but none of the 9 test subjects in stage 5 of CKD needed emergency dialysis. Incredibly, the treatment with activated charcoal was so effective that all of the test subjects had a significant decrease in blood urea and creatinine levels. <laughs> Take a look! This is a study published on a respectable peer-reviewed paper. Yes, this is amazing and obviously scientists are doing more research right now about AC as a therapy for kidney disease because they think that it can also work for people in stage 3 or 4 to actually lower their creatinine levels. Actually, there are several clues that tell us that this cheap remedy may be helpful and safe for people with kidney disease stage 3 and 4. Now, before you even think about starting using this remedy, there is one important issue with activated charcoal I want to show you. It's the dosage. In the study that I've shown you earlier, patients with kidney disease stage 5 were administered 30 grams. Note that I'm talking about grams and not milligrams of activated charcoal per day. This is about one third of the bottle I have in my hand right now. And you see, this may pose some dangers. Activated charcoal does bind to chemical toxins to flush them out, but it also binds to nutrients. Take too much and you could compromise your nutrient status or interfere with the way your body absorbs medication. It can make blood pressure medication and other medications less effective. People taking ongoing or chronic medications like statins and blood pressure drugs can be affected the most by activated charcoal since staying on schedule is important for managing the condition. Now, there are ways to make sure this doesn't happen. For example, to make sure any activated charcoal you've consumed will not interfere with your health, you could take it at least one hour before and two hours after meals, medications, or supplements. But obviously, it's not advisable to do this without the approval of a doctor. Bottom line, as of today, authorities have only approved activated charcoal for the emergency treatment of overdoses or poisonings. But due to its powerful toxin clearing properties, some researchers are proposing activated charcoal as a treatment for kidney disease, even as a substitute for kidney dialysis. 
but it is not a standard treatment yet so be prepared to receive a confused stare if you are going to bring it up with your nephrologist however researchers are loudly calling for more studies on it studies done on large groups of kidney disease patients because they consider activated charcoal an incredible detoxifier. Unfortunately, what's probably keeping it from being studied more thoroughly is that no brand or corporation can effectively copyright it. It has been around since the Victorian era and it's not a formula you can copyright for profit. However, small steps forward are still being made so let me know in comment section if you are interested about knowing more about this treatment. And also subscribe and set the notification bell to all if you want me to keep you updated about this and any other development in the treatment of kidney disease. And by the way, a very interesting new video is coming next Tuesday. It's going to be about some of the healthiest fruits for people with kidney problems. And I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. Thank you for watching.